Hi, and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to show how the new Diamond Art Club preloaded pen actually works. Because this pen is brand new, a lot of people are asking how you actually use it. So when you get the pen, the first thing you want to do is take the top off. So if you Hold it like this, put your finger underneath, and then push up with your thumb, pop the lid off, and then we're ready to start. So the tip of the pen comes preloaded with putty. Um, at the moment, the putty isn't quite at the tip of the pen. So I'll just show you how it actually works. So if we unscrew the pen, this is what we find inside. So we've got the tip. And the putty is in this section here, going towards the, the actual tip of the pen. And then we have this um, little white rod here. And if we pull that out, we can look inside. And that is where the, the putty is. So we'll put the, the rod back in. We'll screw the pen back up again. So just turn it until you feel a resistance and just stop. You don't want to tighten it because you'll start to push the putty out. So what you do is you just hold this part and twist the pen just slightly and then you can see if the putty is up at the tip. Just give it a few seconds just to see because it's kind of slow and moving. So it's not quite at the tip yet. We'll turn it a little bit again. It's moving very, very slightly. The thing is, if you do it too much, it starts to go like toothpaste and it just keeps feeding and feeding. So just give it a couple of seconds just to see where you are. And then you can see it's getting, that's it, it's past the tip. If I put my finger there. It's just past the tip of the pen. So that will pick up it's just keeping it nice and flat so um, what we need to do is get the tray so this is the new uh, diamond art club tray with uh, the lid which helps to um, protect the um, just getting some drills. Um, it helps to protect the drills from any dust or hair or anything. So if you've got um, like pets, like cats and dogs, you'll know what it's like um, when you get the um, the hairs in your tray. If you leave the tray out for any length of time, or maybe leave it overnight, you haven't finished using the colour. So what I'll do is I'll just pour a small amount of drills in the tray. So I've got some drills in. Give it a little shake. The stopper stops the drills from falling at the end which is really good and then <clears throat> we'll try the pen so i can see it's actually just past the tip so i'll try picking up and you can see it picks up now probably when i press this down we'll get a little bit of excess so what you want to do is take the drill back off again and just press it and try and get it nice and flat, take off any excess. I've got a tiny piece there, you can see. So that is pretty much it, ready to go. So what you do is you diamond paint, place and drills, place and drills. Eventually it won't pick up, just like it does with the pink wax. But what you do now is you just hold the pen again and turn the tip towards yourself. Just that much very very slightly and that will feed another little bit of the putty towards the tip again you really don't want it sticking out on the end so just wipe it with your finger and again I got a tiny piece so that was actually too much that tiny piece that, that I turned um, I think it's going to take time to um, get used to how little to turn it so then you turn it and then you pick up your drills again and you keep uh, placing drills until it stops picking up again and then you just turn it a little bit and then carry on. I'm sure once we get used to it, um, it will become second nature, but we're so used to using the, the pink wax and having to dip the pen, this is kind of new. 
um, but it definitely works. So um, that is how you use the pen. So just tiny little turn and just wipe off any excess because you don't want any excess putty. You can see it's still got little pieces. It's better to give it a little bit of time so you know that it has stopped feeding. Um, I'm going to turn it like what I did at the very beginning was I turned it I think a quarter of a turn which is far too much so I'm going to do it just to let you see what happens. So we'll go for about a quarter of a turn which is that and you can see far too much and if we just keep watching it it's still feeding and still feeding very slowly but it keeps going and keeps going. This is no good because you will end up with a mess on your drills if you uh, try and diamond paint with that. So you can see it's stringy. So if I wipe that off, I'm pretty sure if I leave it a few seconds, it'll keep feeding again. So it's it's getting used to it, that's the thing. It is very different from the pink wax, but it is very sticky. And I'm sure it will last a long time, the amount of putty that we've got inside here. So I thought I would just show this um, because a lot of people are asking questions because it is absolutely brand new. Um, and it does take a little bit of getting used to. So hopefully this little video has given you a better idea of how to use the pen and um, not to turn this too much. So because the new Diamond Art Club uh, pen is so new, um, a lot of people uh, are curious about how it actually works. So I thought I would put this little video together to give you a better idea of how to use the pen if you get one in your next kit. And that is it. Um, I'm, I'm on a roll with these short videos. Uh, there will be another two coming up very soon, all related to the pen. So if you want to see what they are, um, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. Um, then you will see the new videos and you will catch anything else that comes up. Um, I have quite a few unboxings, uh, unbaggings, comparisons, accessories, um, a lot of different things. Um, so if you're interested, uh, remember to subscribe, hit the notification button and you may catch me live on YouTube Live. I do random lives, I don't have set days and times, it's just when I can fit it in. But if you want to drop in and say hi, I would appreciate it. I'm always interested in uh, speaking to other diamond painters. The lives are a bit better, I think, because um, we can actually have a conversation. Uh, so um, it's a bit more than just in groups and having an occasional comment. Um, you can maybe let me know where you are in the world. Um, I live in Copenhagen, the capital city of Denmark. I am originally from Scotland, um, but I live here now. So uh, I'm always curious to where people are in the world and uh, what they're working on, what their favourite diamond painting is, that sort of thing. So um, if you drop in, please remember to say hi. And uh, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.